Now, the Independence National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it is ready to comply with any recommendations that would further the course of the Niger uh, elections. Now, the chairman of the commission, Mahmoud Yakubu, made this resolution while receiving the head of a Commonwealth Observer Mission for Niger's election and Tanzania's fourth president, Jakaya Kuwete, in Abuja. Yakub Mohamed uh, Mahmoud reflects on the positive impact of the interim reports from the visiting group, while also assuring that INEC will be compliant with the Observer Mission's recommendations. One very important recommendation of the last Observer Mission was the system of accreditation and voting in Nigeria, where voters will come and be accredited, then they will go back and come back again to vote. The last Commonwealth Observer Mission recommended that we should abolish that archaic system, that as citizens or voters are accredited, they should be able to vote at the same time. And we have implemented this recommendation way back in January 2016 when we conducted one of the governorship elections in this country. Since then, we have conducted 194 off-season elections, and all have been conducted on the basis of simultaneous accreditation and voting, or what we call continuous accreditation and voting. His part, Quetta pledged the support of the commission to ensure a free and fair election in Nigeria. We will, we will dis, dis, disperse, we are deploying commissioners to almost many places in the, in, in the country. We cannot cover every place in, in the country. We will need, this is a huge country. We need more people, but we think we have a critical mass that after visiting and observing the elections, the, the preparedness of the elections, the election on the, on the election day, how the elections are conducted, how the counting has gone on, will have a, a, a reasonable impression of how things have come, and then we'll come up with our with our report after 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 we are we are ready. Of course, we have the interim report, but then after that, we'll prepare the, the comprehensive report after that.